There are several different areas of the EX3000 that you can um, pressure check if you're having a machine leak or a leak that you're unsure of where to find. So the first would be both of the SIVO and ISO caps for the vaporizers. You wanna make sure that these seals, either white or black, are all intact and that they don't have any visible cracks. You also wanna look in the chamber and make sure there's no debris or hair in there. That can cause a leak. Other common areas you can get leaks on this machine would be here on your flutter valves. You need to go ahead and unscrew both of these and check both parts. Check this clear plastic disc for integrity around the edges. Sometimes you can get cracking. And then you wanna make sure that you have this plastic ring and that it's intact as well. Other areas to check would be doing your pressure check on your machine, actually close your pop-off valve and hold your hand here. If you get a leak only when you're not holding there, it could be a leak inside of your pop-off valve. Another common area for leaks would be the common gas outlet here where you disconnect to place the non-rebreathing circuit on. There's a small O-ring here and attaching and detaching it from here can cause wear and tear. So just disconnect it, check the ring, and make sure you reinsert it firmly before you use it again. Leaks can also come from your CO2 canister. If the canister is cross-threaded or it's not properly attached, or if it's over-tightened over time, you can get small um, chips or cracks inside of this chamber. So always make sure when you're filling this that you get underneath of it, you find where you're going with it, and that you screw it on nice and tight, but not to over-tighten it. The most common cause of leaks in these machines, either the EX3000 or the 2100, are gonna be the terminal end towards the patient. So your breathing bags and your hoses are typically what gets leaks because those are considered disposable. So after you've checked those, check all the things on this machine and hopefully you can identify the issue.